short on the recon. Bolt a couple of right clicks. Not going to find too much, but you're already seeing the health bars chipped away little by little. It's over it. Starts to finish what his team or Spike finish what his team started. Yeah, excuse me. That spike falls, and Mel remaining. hoping to pick up the pieces. Odorous just. Odorous to hold for it. Healthy, so got to go through. But <gasps> the recon dart, she's given away the game, and while she finds one, the HP is so far gone, and she'll be swinging into a multi. Fortunately, this didn't go their way as they made it out towards the C side. This time, though, it's the inverse. A mirrored push out towards A. A different extremity here on Heyman as the dash gets blocked and the body start to drop. Annie once more. The space for free. Trap wire taken down and Jazzykins off to... Okay, never mind. It's just aggression. I'd say the only problem with going to the A side is it's completely unknown. So for now, the spike is planted. The space has been taken. But we've completely flipped the map here. The defenders coming from the attacking side, that being mid. And look how deep they're wrapping this gun for 5-9 white. Deep back towards the spawn. Alexis will hold the mid, the flash. Oh, it's perfection. And she misses a couple of shots. She'll get hunted down with the shot bolts. But her life, all she needs to do is stay alive. All she needs to do is buy time. And she's already bought quite a bit. Now, Annie and Mel will establish themselves for a crossfire. And Ambox, they're just going to run straight into this meat grinder. Mame, no HP. He's being held for. They have suspicions. And Katsumi, she'll try and add insult to injury. Towards B the scary place to be because mummy's there with the operator immediately takes down one is the rendezvous gonna get odorous in position to stand and fight alongside his jet as lear pushes out aggressively through the garage doors jazz can't able to steal it back in any throw we go back and forth between these two teams but the op is still online and you said at the clock it's not great here for cloud nine white as any peaks left the player to the right and seekers reveal they do find the tag but unfortunately nobody there to capitalize that jet makes way to safety. The spike should be planted, and I said safe, but Katsumi gonna run Mummy down. Mel is there as well with the neural theft. We'll have the information on the remaining three of Ambox. Cloud9 look to secure their spot. Here in the post plant, Mel still on the site. The ratty cypher doing ratty cypher things, just standing right on top of the spike as the flashpoint comes through. Odorous, okay, I'll say, what do Odorous and Vice have to work with? It's absolutely fight forward. But the fault line might just slow him down. It's inside the smoke is Mel. I'm able to hit the right click. Has a weapon in hand now, and Jonah's here to try and bail him out, but Mummy just sticks to the fight revealed. Give me help immediately for Lear, but he has to take the fight alone, and he's not able to win it. Cat takes him down, but this retake, oh, it looks to be quick. Already the breach utility piling in. Vice running from the back lines, but Annie finds a fight, unable to get more, so it's Cat alone in the clutch. Her position has already been revealed, and while the stars can buy her time, they cannot win her around. Mame shuts down and hear that angle. I'm pretty sure it can be seen. Too much can be seen out from long. He's gonna take it a little bit wider. No way. She will be in the back line soon, but look what's available. A rolling thunder on the retake and the shock darts. Oh, they should finish Cat. Wow. And just like that, I mean, the odds get even. That's tough. You still have that flank to worry about, and you are seeing Lear go back to check that as Mel. Get down to 31 health. As Jonah with that kill, nets himself to Hunter's Fury, tries to find something, but unable to do so. And it's now the last one standing. He got himself so far out of dodge to hit that alt, but he doesn't hit anything with it. Now he has to try and retake. Very healthy, but no time in four players. It's all about the damage, and oh my goodness, Jonah. Okay, slow down a little bit. There was damage. There was an operator retrieved. But at the end of the day, when the dust settles, it's Cloud9 White for another round. Oh yeah, it is gonna be a costly one all things considered for inbox that is a pretty solid round and mummy especially just impressing with the op honestly it's a shame that in so many previous teams he was just up and up and it's mummy inching forward with the operator operator again he gets the value yeah, alexis that's a gives mood you either have to reclear the space or fight elsewhere and the fight elsewhere well that's successful jazzy takes down odorous now so much space is clear with the stun it is perfection and vice wow. charges in for more he'll take a double and even escapes completely cuts through the attack there one player zoned out his mummy flanking but the operator tried to find some more through the nebula smoke with the classic. But again, you just have to kind of tip your hat. Count and Mame. Mame, mm. she can exploit this blade storm on the other side. It should find the trade. And Jazzy will. Ooh. She'll even get more. Charges forward, takes the double. The op recovered for her too. And a gun for her teammates. This is a great position, but look who is still alive. It's a double initiator. Vice has plentiful utility. 
Then he does a couple of flashes. One going to be used as Odorous doesn't even need to play off of it as Annie taken down. Kazian Mel wary of the flank. And a star on the spike obviously tells you what the intentions are as the aftershock goes through. It forces him out of the corner. Now Mel, the last one standing as Jonah pops onto the spike. They're aware, but Mel still making a hurt. Cam goes out, but Jonah will catch her with the utility in hand. A 3K. So that trademark on the other side, and Trailblazer should spot this one. But for now, Garage is clear. Ooh, grab well both ways. Odris inside as he hits the Moonwalk frag on the Jazzy Kins. The rest of Handbox will take the fight right to Cloud9 White. The Hunter Fury being used here, but I mean, at what cost? Three members already dead as Lear can be traded back. Vice up and up to four. And oh no, Annie just completely trapped here. Vice will find the last kill. And well, aggression is as aggression does. They're pushing out towards mid. They're looking to steal away all this space. But Ambox, they must have done their homework. They know this is happening, but they might not be ready for it. Yes, they are as the initiators turn duelist and finding four quick kills. Here on your shield to fall damage out the window. No, it just seems the spike is going to do the job. So no saved weapon. Oh, no, it's about to get caught out. Jazzy spots the members of Ambox creeping up inside a lobby. Now trying to back away. We'll take one with her. Jonah's there to trade it back, and the spike is still in hand. Out towards the seaside. Mummy, the pathing, path unfortunately, not much pathing. Path this time around, as Annie's still holding down the site, but caught Great with shot. bow out. We go back and forth, but the damage from the shock has been done. Lear and Vice, worse for wear as the Guiding Light goes over the top, but nobody to push behind it. Three members remain on the side of Cloud9. Oh, the astral form, Gravity Well, Katsumi just goes a bit too soon. The Guiding Light was not there to help her out as the Aftershock Mel. will buy some time. Mel has crept all the way up. We'll find the headshot onto Lear. The cam now to come out. Mel may be caught again. No Vice! Ahead. The entirety of their attacking side, and that will haunt me as that recon bolt doesn't quite land where it should have as the gents opt their way into the kill feed. Mummy still walking around on the site, and Mummy is just able to do this. It was C site a few rounds ago. It's A site this time around. He's just walking through the site unmatched as he picks up the first and only two on the round thus far. We'll find the trailblazer or toss out the cloud burst. Nice little one way for himself, and quite possibly. Rearing up for another ace, but the flank is there. Mel only good for one is Lear to trade it back to counter flank. So we go flank for flank, rat for rat, kill for kill. But Cloud9 still count. No way. The Cloud Burst goes out. M Mimi, that this roster. Speaking of Jets, Jassy out towards mid finds the first. Alexis will steal one as well with the Ghost. Maybe a kill that they weren't expecting, but they find either way as Katsumi. Rifle in hand starts to cut him down. And it's only Lear. And Annie has two shocks, too. One of those will do him in. Lear, unfortunately, just has actually nothing to work with. And, well, that is the result of that. No stars and only an ult on the Astra and the 1v2. With 20 HP, it's not great. So if you can find a way to shut down this team right here, right now, Cloud9 White will buy themselves some time. And Alexis finally starting to come alive. Able to toss out the second flash as well. Regrowth. Gonna get Jazzy topped off. Unfortunately, it's gonna be an armorless. Jettis Mummy goes up top. He bites off more than he can chew. He had the blades, but I mean, just a bit overzealous as Alexis will find his two players out towards long. Look to swing. Lear doesn't want to give it up just yet. As Jazzy will close us out, and there it is the prime bike. We're taking the opposite direction. And I'd white given lots of respect so far. And oh, the trap wire is not even needed. Mel able to find a kill on it to Mummy. Sure, only had the sheriff in hand, but. A kill's a kill, especially when we've already kind of painted that picture of how Cloud9 White need to grab these next couple of rounds. Nice tag on Talir will force the Astro away as Jonah jumps his way on underneath Heaven. Cosmic Divide comes down. Gravity Well just gets anybody's default, but Jonah's still good for one and yet to be traded as the Marshal starts to ring and Jonah starts to do it. The last one standing, Cat. Oh man, uh, unaware of any of the positions as Odorous will find the backstab. To pull things yeah. off now, look what this has done. Tough position for the eco of Cloud9 White. And I mean, talking about early in the round, I, I like the micro from Mel, able to remove the, tra the trap wire. He Five rounds in a row. And Alexis, she's going for this fight, pulls up the gun in time, but she is so blind from Vice Mel, though. Fast back on the trade, has a cam to hold in her position. She's a bit stuck, and Jassy misses out on the shot. This gets weird, because they know about Mel. Now they do. Drone sees her, but she's... He's got that spike under heaven. 
Maybe plan for that same spot as the shock darts used. Recon bolt can be traded out on the opposite side. The spike get to be planted. And box looking to go aggressive in its leer. To even the odds. We'll find ourselves in a 3v3 now as the retake. Just around the corner, but Vice, there it is, has the Rolling Thunder, and Anbox just gonna take the fight to him again. It's Lear, tip of the spear as both players trying to play the high-low, but they're stunned up, taken down. Sodorus across the map, playing the Lurk inside the spawn. Go Anbox, but Alexis Spike is here, and she's Defender getting spawn. started early. That's Spike, but it will soon be recovered. Are, do they want to run this one to beat? It's a good option, but they have to get past two players, and Andy Drill might have the bait. See, there, there's a player in close. It's that chamber, but they're not worrying about it. Instead, they try and double back. Now, a nade, a pull in their face. They are trapped Look at out in the spawn here for Anbox, but you're right. It's the flank. It's Odorous, and he's found the first. Now, Mel closing needs the kill, but one she enemy grabs remaining. it. Not before Odorous Spikes pulls the down. trade. Now, Defender it's just spawn. him. A 1v2 for this clutch. There's time for Cloud9 to establish. No, they just want to fight this, and they do well. Here is Mel. I think it's spotted, but sends some shots out onto the boom. But tries to TP away, but Mummy won't allow it. The rendezvous, uh -oh. not this time around, and a weapon retrieved. Means another body drop as Annie plays on the site with 70 HP. Tries to go for multiple, and she does just that. But it's still a 2v2. There's weapons to be had, and there's that wall that we talked about on the attacking side. It funnels these Cloud9 white players. Talk of funnels, Anbox realizes they're in one. They'll press forward, Vice turn the wrong direction. They still get this trade, absolutely. Now options are open, but notice this final player. Is he ready for Jazzy? Whoa. Turns in time, but can't quite find that frag. So, is C9 aware? Now they have to be. Flash forward, Mel's on an off angle. Does she get checked? Yes, but not before she finds one. Jazzy actually keeps her alive. The nade doing damage, so now it's a three versus three. Those are weapons on the floor, and options are limited now, Mel. She is so alone and needed more than she grabbed is the wall. It is better than none. Snake fight clears the corner. Unfortunately, the Sage has already left that position as Jonah. This. They are so trapped. A flank is coming through, and Ambox is locked in, but can they fight out? Odorous has found one. Now the realization is here, and the troops for Cloud9 are retreating, and hey, here comes the Sage. Reser the angle to stop that push from happening. Oh, not Mel, excuse me. Annie, not on the angle as Mel does try to get one. The stolen away quickly as Odorous continues to find his way into the kill feed, continues to find these frags, and Katsumi now needs to try and do nice. She gets the opportunity though, peek straight into Lear. No, the Brimstone does not miss those. Get with an operator or a marshal or something of the sort. So just to clear that out, to make sure that you can push up, get yourself set up. Now, Mummy tried to push up, was trying to help his team out, but unfortunately, he just helps out Annie on in a kill. In a defeat, we'll add a tally to the scoreboard, but the rest of the squad heads out towards the B site where Odorous opens things up. Katsumi the first to find contact, and the only so far, she's taken down a 4v4. The spike gets planted with a high ground. Oh no, Alexis. Alexis picks up one. Jazzy's there to help her for the next, and things are starting to get dire on the side of Anbox. Down to two. Oh, Vice. Not like this to trigger discipline. He wants to find some more, but the boom bot will reveal. No, the utility in hand, but Alexis still will get it done. How is it coming down to kills like this as Jonah tries to play the long con? The operator shot not going to land. The fault line will, so the Sage is stunned up. And sure, the slow is there. So Jonah can't be run down, but the spike will be held. The op will be held. The defuse is there. The kill as well. Okay, these guys, Sky Smokes come on through and they finally get some value as Alexis, exactly the first to fall. Odorous gonna grant himself some extra information as a Hatless Cypher is the hardest to kill. Katsumi tries to trade it back, but Lear is there to get Odorous out of dodge. The spike is planted in five. Still stand for Anbox's Annie and Mel. They scratch their heads. There's a fight earlier even towards that A site that was finding value. Mel. Cat. Looks to play deeper on the angle, Jazzy. Just around the corner, and both teams right here waiting for the push, but it's Cloud9 to go on the push, and Lear to sit him down. A double kill as they lined up for Lear, and well, now the defense just that much weaker, especially out towards B site, but Mel will steal one back the rendezvous. Recovered, and we'll see how that gets over work out, but they're still gonna go for it. They're still gonna give it the old college try, and Mame has the op. Vice has the line. Mel, she wants to hold on to it, but she's trapped. 
in between two players. She's stunned up, trying desperately to run away. And unless she hits the shot, she won't know. Ooh. Finds it. Three kills for Mel, but the spike. The spike will end her that with Sky Smoke. You have time to stall, and they let the Lord come to fruition. And now Mel, she wanted to take... Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of Sage on Icebox vibes, right? You get that wall flash onto the site. Three here from Ropes. It's the last line of defense for Cloud9. As Odorous up close and personal. Takes down Jazzy. Showstopper from Mummy. Good for two. It's three on the round. And guess what? Life brought back into this one is Katsumi. Now needs to try and clutch it out in what is the 1v5, but she's on the four players on the defense. Oh, the incendiary going to slow things down tremendously. And here comes the rest of the utilities. The rest of the squad, they go underneath. They look to play the splits. They hop off the ropes. Cloud9 White now causing some paranoia as they fight up inside. Tower flashed up is Lear, but somehow he still manages to find two. Things, unfortunately, not even across the board until Alexis finally has something to say about it. She was so good at the start of the first half. Now she comes in hot again at the start of the second and one of the most important rounds here to get Cloud9 White back in the game. But Mummy is still alive and Katsumi is low on HP. Tries to dodge left, tries to dodge right, but unfortunately the Ghost eventually sit her down and the paint shell's gonna buy just enough time for mummy to go half maybe look to stick as alexis on the swing the 4k on the round and the fourth for cloud nine what um, maybe that'll be an adaptation at some point but for now mummy he is oh. just flying on in and he's found a double the breach util sets him up for so much success and, yeah. and ambox is working their way through this flank so when contact is made that'll be fast to come they found my wife Lear on the cross, spike able to find one, down, and that's the spike down. Orbital strike up to position. Orbital strike is available should they need it, but I don't think so. Oh my goodness, a prime gaming flawless, and it was in a little exposed. Oh no, here we go. Vice with the flashes. Lear just behind him with the orbital strike as they want to crunch the A site themselves. Cloud9. Just completely denied, and this was their round, Mimi. But Odorous strips it away, and it's another. And assume that position, which they will be able to do for free for now. But a quick rotation's coming on through, and Alexis taken down early. Gonna quick to be on that one. Not able to get the spike planted. Now needs to get out of dodge because the paint shells are running her down. The slow orb was on top of it as well, and it's Vice through the box to sit down the Astra. So not a whole lot invested in way of vault. They do get the plant down, but okay. the bodies are starting to fall, not like this. Okay, finally, Mummy will go down, so it's not another Prime Gaming Flawless, but it's pretty damn close as four survive. And it is. Now, they know that this position is normally played, and, well, they fight right on into it. Rolling Thunder, Alexis pushes through the door, will find Lear. Now, Mummy has the showstopper in hand and is just trying to keep Cloud9 White at bay, and Alexis is going huge. Three kills on the round. They still have a few ults to play with as the Viper's Pit comes down. They try to push onto the site, and the last one standing is the one HP mummy inside the pit. To look exciting. Cloud9 White, I, I like the pacing of that round. Keep things really slow. Look for aggression. Like I talked about, there was a, there was a showstopper available for mummy, and we've seen the sandbox squad go. And this is really about to get awkward, unfortunately. It's awkward for Cloud9 as Jazzy wasn't ready on the angle. Jonah holding underneath and is able to find Alexis. Now wants to find Katsumi, but Kat to stay put. As we hear the romp and the stomp of the stampede all the way through. Surely the TPs or surely the rotations come through. As Annie, the last one standing here, low HP, and it's only for a second.